Jeffrey sees your workout progress and he gets pissed off at you. This is so gay. You look stupid. You photoshopped your pictures. Jeffrey's projecting his insecurities on you because he doesn't even try to work out or improve himself. He hates his body, but he won't do anything about it. And seeing someone else, seeing you put in some work in your body transformation pisses Jeffrey off. I started working out and it felt so awesome. I'd watch body transformation videos on YouTube and get so motivated to build my dream body. I'd even enjoy my workouts. But it was strange. I'd work out maybe one or two days in a row. And then I'd skip the gym for a couple of days. I'd call them rest days, but I didn't even need to rest. For most of the years that I've been working out, I very rarely hit the right amount of workouts per week. If I wanted to hit six gym sessions, I'd hit four or five. And because of this, I've definitely made slower gains than if I worked out more consistently. It took me so long, but I finally figured out how an average person who's not super disciplined can become consistent in their workouts. Adonis. Adonis doesn't go to the gym. The gym goes to Adonis. After all, he's the ultimate man with level 99 in his discipline skill. Adonis hits every workout exactly as planned. But he wasn't always like this. Once upon a time, Adonis was the smallest, weakest guy in the gym. He wanted to work out, but he didn't feel so comfortable there. He'd often come up with excuses as to why he couldn't go work out today. Like having other tasks to do or feeling too tired. But slowly and surely, day in and day out, Adonis kept visiting the House of Iron. He missed hundreds of workouts out, but he never quit. And after a while, he started getting more and more consistent. And that turned him into the man he is today. Here's how to work out consistently. Number one, make it easy. Get your clothes, your earphones, your water bottle ready the night before. This way you can wake up and get ready without even having to think. Reducing that little bit of friction goes a long way. Number two, Set the right intention. Set the intention of what time you're going to go to the gym tomorrow. After exactly what task. For me, I wake up, have a poop, brush my teeth, Get ready, go to the gym. And how about we give this even more intention? Think about what would stop you from going to the gym tomorrow. What excuses could your Jeffrey brain come up with? Maybe it's worth at the end of the day to sit around for a few minutes to think or journal about this. When you give it intention, your mind will automatically come up with ways to make sure that you hit tomorrow's workout. Number three, Make a habit tracker and stick it up on your wall where everyone can see. Structure your habit tracker in weeks. Then write down how many days you want to work out per week. And a weird trick that really helps is to visualize yourself coming back every single day, ticking the right boxes and see yourself celebrating and feeling really happy after you've hit all the workouts this week. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.